What's going on guys? Welcome back to Watch With Us. My name is Anthony. I also go by Watch With Me. You can find me on Instagram at Watch With Me or even my own YouTube channel, Watch With Me. Today we are doing a top five and in celebrating uh, all things green, I decided to wear my green Henley and talk about my five favorite green dial watches. I'm also joined by Kingsley, who is my French Bulldog and a pain in the ass, but I love him nonetheless. Um, before we get into the topic and my top five, we're gonna talk about my watch that I'm wearing today, which is my Rolex Daytona. This is a 16528 Zenith Movement, and it is my favorite watch I own. I've had it for about two years now, and uh, you know what? It is solid gold on a gold bracelet, but I don't baby it. I wear it every day, and it shows that. So enough of my watch, let's get into the top five. So I just wanna go ahead and say, these are my top five green dial watches. I'm not saying they're the absolute best. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be some people that disagree or maybe don't even like any of the top five I'm gonna talk about, but if you don't like it, leave a comment down below. What are your top five green dial watches? And if you do like it, smash that like button. Let's us know that you're liking the content and uh, it lets me not cry myself to sleep at night. So number one, and we're gonna do this based on price, we're not gonna do it based on what my favorites are, is going to be the Hamilton Field Mechanical Watch with the green dial and the green canvas strap. This watch comes in at $425. It's 38 millimeters, so it might be slightly smaller than what most people are used to, but for someone like me who has a small wrist, I think it fits the wrist perfectly. I love the green canvas strap. I think it goes really well with the green dial. I love the dial layout. It's very much a field watch, has that military look, but I think despite being a field watch, you can dress it up really well. Uh, being green, I think you can throw it on with a denim shirt and a blazer, maybe like a brown or a gray blazer will look spectacular with that. You can even dress it down with jeans and a t-shirt and I think it's gonna look fantastic. It is mechanical, so it is not an automatic watch. I personally like mechanical watches. I love knowing that I have to manually wind it to keep it running. It is an ETA movement, so it's not a Japanese or a Chinese movement, and it's under $500. It is stainless steel, and it is 50 meters water resistant, so you don't have to worry about you know getting it wet or washing your hands. It's gonna be completely fine. It's under 10 millimeters thick, so it's a very thin watch at 38 millimeters. Uh, it's gonna be pretty thin, so the proportions I think are perfect. And it's a 20 millimeter strap width, so it's very interchangeable with different strap options. Um, I just think it's a fantastic watch. It's really hard to pick a better watch, uh, especially a green dial watch, for under $500. So that's gonna be number one on the list. The Hamilton Field Mechanical Watch with the green dial and green canvas strap, $425, 38 millimeters, fantastic buy, I think. Number two is going to be the Oris Aquis with the green dial and green ceramic bezel. Now, what other green watch with a green ceramic bezel that's a dive watch and a green dial is an awesome watch, but almost $9,000 and trading around $13,000 to $15,000 on the secondary market. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. This one comes in at number two based on its price point at around $2,000, maybe $2,100. This one is 43 millimeters. It has such a beautiful green dial with the green ceramic bezel. Um, I personally am such a huge fan of Oris. I think they're doing so many amazing things with the brand. They're just really killing it with their watches, whether they're field watches, aviation watches, or their dive watches, which are my personal favorite. And you know what? Let's face it, that green dial watch that I'm talking about is very hard to get right now. If you're on a waiting list for it or you're waiting for maybe a recession so it can come back down to reality, why not get this watch? You might even love it so much that you might say, forget that other watch. This is uh, slightly thicker and slightly bigger at 43 millimeters, but it's a fantastic watch. It has uh, an ETA movement. Uh, an exhibition case back, a real ceramic bezel, stainless steel, and you know what? It's only $2,000, which I know is a lot of money, but if you're comparing it versus other watches that are out there, dollar versus dollar, you're really getting much more out of this watch for $2,000. So number two on the list is gonna be the Oris Aquis with the green dial and green ceramic bezel. Number three on my list is gonna be the Breitling for Bentley Premier. So, Breitling and Bentley first started their collaboration in 2003, 
Now, when the watches first came out, they were really dictated towards what was popular in the early 2000s, which was really large, oversized, kind of gaudy watches. And you know what? That's fine for what it is, but I think with George Kern under the helm of Breitling now, he's really trying to make Breitling more of a higher-end brand, revitalizing their dress line, and he did that with the Premier line. Now, the Premier line was really introduced to recapture that really uh, more of an elegant dress watch by Breitling. This particular one measures at 42 millimeters, uh, and it took over for the Transocean line, which I was a fan of, but I felt the Transocean was quite large because of its lugs and its uh, chronograph pushers being quite pronounced. With this one, they made a more of a rectangle shape and they shrunk down the case to a 42 millimeter. They also decided to make this their flagship Bentley line watch. Now, they're really trying to bring back that real sophistication of uh, Bentley from the earlier days, which was a much more refined car, not your typical Jersey Shore fist pumping Guido watch, like some of the other Bentley models. All kidding aside, don't hate me for that one. I'm from Long Island myself, so I kind of fall into that classification. But this one, I think, has a beautiful, probably the most beautiful green dial I've ever seen on any watch. Uh, my video does not do it justice. It is very hard to capture the beauty of this dial. Uh, the only place you really see that it is a Bentley watch, it has um, right on the side of the case, it has Bentley on the side, and the exhibition case back has uh, Bentley on the back as well. So it doesn't have Bentley all over the watch, it doesn't have the Bentley grill as a bezel. It's a very sophisticated, very elegant watch. They house the B01 movement, which to this day I still think is one of the best chronograph movements you can get on the market. This particular model comes in around $8,500, but with that you're getting a three-day power reserve, you're getting a five-year warranty, 346 parts in this movement, 47 jewels, you're getting an automatic day change, so you never have to worry about changing the date at any particular time. You're also getting a vertical clutch, so the chronograph hand will never jump forwards or backwards. It's a very reliable movement. And on top of that, you're just getting a beautiful watch. I mean, this watch is absolutely elegant. It has the perfect proportions. It has the rectangle pushers, 42 millimeters. It is the perfect size for a chronograph that is a sport watch that is automatic. That's why it's coming in at number three on the list. I think Breitling hit it out of the park with this watch. I'm really happy to see the Bentley model kind of being reintroduced to Breitling in a much more sophisticated line. Number four on the list is Panerai, and this is the Radomir 1940 case. This watch comes in at 45 millimeters, which is a you know, an oversized watch, but I do think the Radomir in the 1940s case wears really well on the wrist. And coming from a Panerai owner, I actually like that it's oversized. I think that's usually why you're buying a Panerai. You want kind of a bigger, oversized, tough watch. This one, though, is sensational. It has more of a matte green dial and uh, the traditional sandwich dial, meaning underneath the dial is all Superluminova and cutouts for the index marker, so you can really see it glow quite a bit and adds kind of a three-dimensional layer to the dial. The movement is also uh, a newer Panerai movement. It has a micro rotor, which is absolutely beautiful. It does come in at a slightly higher price point at $11,200, but one of the great things about Panerai is usually getting two straps with the watch. And you know what? Panerai might get some heat for saying most Panerais look like one another, but this is a green dial watch. There's really no other green Panerai watch other than the Bronzos, which are honestly unobtainable to get because they're so hard. And you know what? This is just a, it's a great watch. I think the, the accents of the gold hands and the kind of aged patinaed loom with the green dial works so well. That with the brown strap, it's, it's a, another home run. And that's why it's on my top five. I love the watch. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is honestly one of my favorites that's on the list. And number five on the list is a limited edition, but is the Mont Blanc 1858 Mono Pusher. They only made 100 pieces of this watch, so it is harder to find, but I know for a fact that you can find it in some retail stores. Uh, highest price point that's on my list, this one is $30,000, but for those of you that don't know, uh, Richemont bought Minerva. Minerva is one of the best watch manufacturers of movements, and uh, Richemont decided to have Mont Blanc be the sole owner of Minerva, so Minerva movements are only in the highest caliber of Mont Blanc movements. 
and you can see from my video, the movement is spectacular. I love a mono pusher. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a mono pusher is a chronograph that has the start, stop, and reset just with one button, two register chronograph. I love it. I absolutely love it. I put this list together uh, some weeks ago before I started filming and within uh, the time of putting this list together and actually filming it, Houdinki just released their partnership with Mont Blanc and made their own Mono Pusher 1858 in stainless steel with a black dial. So obviously they think it's a spectacular watch and uh, whatever you have to say against Houdinki, I must say they do have kind of a refined taste when it comes to wristwatches. It's a mono pusher, manual wound chronograph. It's pretty thin for what it is, and it's 40 millimeters, which I think is a perfect size. Uh, probably my favorite uh, watch size ever. It's 40 millimeters, fits perfect. It is 100 pieces limited, but it is Mont Blanc, so they don't move as fast as other watches, but I do think it's a spectacular green dial, super unique limited to 100 pieces. If you can find a retailer that carries Mont Blanc, this particular video that I shot, uh, we do have one at London Jewelers in Manhasset. Go and take a look at it. It's a spectacular watch. And I had to add a bonus. So my bonus watch, which is my personal favorite watch, I would say this is easily my top three uh, favorite watches ever made, is the FP Journe Souverain in Jade. So this is a boutique exclusive for Japan, and although it's not limited, everything that FP Jean makes is limited. They manufacture only around 800 watches per year, and this can only be found at the Tokyo Boutique. It has such an amazing dial. It's actually made of all jade, and it's two different pieces that put together on the dial to form that jade dial. The watch not only has a jade dial and a tourbillon, but it's a deadbeat seconds with the power reserve indicator at 12 o'clock. I'm just, I'm just so in love with this watch. If I ever have the chance to buy it, I probably won't because it's $175,000. But if I had the money, this would absolutely be in my watch box and I would wear it quite a bit because I think it's one of the most beautiful watches ever made and it's green. So that's why it's on my list. But let's face it, it's pretty ridiculous and that's why it's a bonus watch and not my top five. But that's really it guys. Do me a favor, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you like in my top five videos. And uh, let's, uh, let's leave some comments down below. What's your top five green dial watches? And also, if you have an idea for my next top five, leave that down below. I love to hear what you guys think and also what you guys want to watch. But uh, that's really it, guys. Until next time, take it easy.